This is not a military target, nor is it close to any known military target. And it is nearer to the centre of Kiev than any artillery strike so far in this war. Four people are known to have died with others injured. The death toll is only as low as it is because so many have fled the capital and so many more spend nights in bunkers. The frail and the elderly, however, often have nowhere else to go. Kiev's mayor, former boxer Vitaly Klitschko, was on the scene breathing the defiance felt by so many of its citizens. We will be defend our city. It's our homes. We don't have a we never think to leave. It's our homes. We defend our children, family, our buildings, our city and our future, future of Ukraine. But there seems no obvious rhyme or reason to the two most recent attacks here. For a second day in a row, a seemingly random attack on a civilian area and getting ever closer to the city centre. This feels awfully like a warning from the Russians to President Zelensky. We will do to Kiev what we've done to Kharkiv, what we've done to Mariupol. Keep fighting and this is what will happen to your city. In response, the Ukrainian military are stepping up security across the capital. The city going under 36-hour curfew from tonight. The authorities warning that this is a difficult and dangerous moment. The more remarkable then that the Prime Ministers of Poland, the Czech Republic and Slovenia took a train to Kiev this afternoon, poring over maps as they prepared for talks with President Zelensky. They met in his bunker, above them a sign saying Ukraine defending Europe and the world. These three leaders understand that and have made this trip because they believe Europe, the EU, the West should be doing more. You are fighting for your lives, for your families, for your country, for freedom. But we know we are fighting also for our lives and for our freedom. In an earlier video conference with the leaders of 10 northern European countries, Zelensky had made it clear Ukraine now accepts NATO membership is never going to happen. Ukraine is not a member of NATO. We have heard for years about open doors, but we have already heard that we won't be able to join. It's the truth, and it's necessary to admit it. It is an honor to welcome you to our house. As Zelensky made a video address to the Canadian Parliament, this acceptance may become important when it comes to the peace talks. Ruling out membership of NATO could be a significant concession to Moscow. James Mates, News at 10, Kiev.